Brought to you by GraceWorks Interactive. Interactive Bible James is a platforming puzzle game that teaches various lessons as found in the book of James. The overall goal is to acquire five gems held by children hidden throughout the level by conversing with them about the lessons being taught and correctly answering their questions. Once you have all the gems, you find the crown at the end of the level to win the game. At the beginning of the game, you can choose which lesson you would like to learn and which level to complete. Once you've chosen your level and lesson, click on the Start Game button to begin. Your first goal upon entering is to familiarize yourself with the lesson that you chose to learn for this level. Look for presentation paintings throughout the level. Approach them using the mouse to look around and the W, A, S, and D keys to move around and press enter to read and listen to the lesson. Information presented in the lesson will be used throughout each of the levels. You'll need to correctly answer questions related to the lesson to acquire keys to open locked doors, stars to acquire power-ups from various paintings, and ultimately, the gems needed to complete the level. As you go from room to room, you'll want to keep an eye on the map so that you know where you are, where you need to go, your current life total, and what items you've collected so far. Use the spacebar to jump and collect crosses, which increase your score and restore a small percentage of your health. Be sure to avoid obstacles such as pits, fireballs, and giant boots. Falling into pits, getting hit by fireballs or squashed by the boots, and answering questions incorrectly will cause you to take damage. And when your life total is reduced to zero, it's game over for you. But don't worry, the user interface will remind you when you're low on health. Search for hearts throughout the level as well. They restore your health completely and save your progress in the level. Should you need to quit the game at that point, you'll be able to return to this level from the startup screen and start from the last heart you touched. Also found throughout the level are paintings that pertain to the lesson that you're currently learning, as well as paintings that contain power-ups. Once you have obtained enough stars to access the power-up, press enter when you approach the painting to gain its power-up. These power-ups include Armor, which protects you from fireballs and knocks out the boots, Stealth, which allows you to sneak past spring-loaded walls undetected, and Flight, which allows you to cross over large expanses that you normally couldn't jump over. There are other ways to navigate some of the rooms in the levels as well. You'll also find true-false tile floors that force you to find your way across by recognizing true statements, ice floors that will send you slip-sliding away, zeppelins that you can grab to reach various islands, and bells that you can ring to access new areas. Once you get the hang of it, try to go for the highest score, or you could potentially try to do a speedrun on your favorite level. After completing the level, you can enter your name to proudly display your achievements. Look for Interactive Bible James and other Christian games at www.christiangamesnow.com We hope you have enjoyed this video, and we hope to see you next time. Take care, and God bless.